Welcome back to my channel. Hi. <laughs> so, I don't know where to start. It's been a while. It's been a little over a month since I've posted a video and I don't know when this is going up. So it could be longer. I have footage from <coughs> the rest of my trip. I may have already edited, edit, edited it into a vlog or a couple of vlogs. I don't, you know, okay, here's what happened. I was traveling, as you guys saw, and it was so much fun. Um, I got a lot, I grew a lot. I got a lot of confirmation from that trip that I've been searching for. I grew more into myself. Um, I learned a lot about me and I grew more confident and I got so much from it and I was just really focused on being there and I kind of knew that that might that like vlogging and videoing it and filming it for the sake of sharing it may have taken a back seat and it did um, because I like creating travel videos and it's fun the trip was more about healing <laughs> and some self-discovery and all of that kind of stuff it wasn't for the purpose of like making travel videos so that's what happened still really enjoyed making them but i also like i didn't stop and talk to the camera every day and vlog and i'm not irritated with myself i am actually really happy with the way the trip went um so Yes. I feel like there's so much to talk about and I don't know what to talk about, but what I do know, I've been back for, it's just over a week now. I got back last Tuesday and I moved, I got back Tuesday night, I moved Wednesday. I've been in here for exactly a week now. Overall, I love it. Every space has its downfalls, but I am really happy. But I think we're heading into the gym. Nothing crazy. I did. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this. I got really sick when I was in Berlin to the point that I had to kind of like essentially cancel on my friend who I visited there, which really sucked. We did get to see each other twice, but or three times, um, but it was horrible. Like seeing her was great. Let me clarify. I really enjoyed getting to spend time with her and I wish we could have spent more time together, uh, but I was sick. <laughs> I was really sick. I got a little bit worried about myself at, at a couple points, but we are back. I'd say I'm like 90% better. The cough is sticking around and a little bit of like asthma, congestion-y stuff. So I think I'm gonna go into the gym and just walk on the treadmill. Out of the gym. I like honestly don't even want to talk about it. I dropped a plate on my foot. Yeah, I dropped I dropped a plate on my foot. <laughs> to be fair, it is my first time back in the gym um, since getting back. A lot has happened, um, but I kind of just wanted to get back into vlogging. But all you need to know now, <laughs> I will update you and talk to you about what has happened up until this point. And I am still moving a lot 
and I'm just trying to like settle into home and create these new routines and get used to like solo living. Although I've been solo traveling, so it's kind of similar. But yeah, that is, that's the very broad update. You saw me make my matcha this morning. The circle ice cube trays I got from Amazon, best purchase. I have a couple meetings this morning for work. Um, and then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, which I will show you guys. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> so we are making toast. <laughs> Fairly simple breakfast, but I have been craving Super Bloom toast from Super Bloom Bakery. They do gluten-free bread. I mean, it's not good <laughs> without it being toasted, but if you toast it, oh my God, amazing. So I'm kind of craving like both savory and sweet. Do one piece of toast with soy-free vegan butter and this farm fresh blueberry jam that I picked up at the farmer's market this weekend. And on the other, we're gonna do scrambled egg with a little bit of goat cheese. Okay, so welcome to my kitchen, by the way. I'd say my kitchen and my bathroom are the two rooms that I have invested the most money and time in so far. I got my fridge, all my fridge magnets from my trip back there. Of course, I already have so many plants. We've got a big pothos over there. I will show you guys my apartment as the moving in process continues. But yeah, we've got a nice, we've got a full stove, we've got a full fridge. I got really lucky with this apartment. I was looking at studios and in my price range, probably all I thought I was gonna be able to get was a studio with not even like, the, the thought of having an outdoor space was like way beyond the realm of possibility. But I got a little lucky. And this apartment I have, which is actually really nice, it's not a studio. I have living room, which is like my living room slash office. I have this room, which is my kitchen. It's a full kitchen. All of the cabinets and everything are brand new. The appliances aren't, but they're like hardly used. Um, and then I have a bedroom. I have a separate bedroom. And <laughs> out this door, I have a patio. It's a tiny patio, but I have an outdoor space. Never did I think I would get this much <laughs> for my budget for my apartment. So I feel really lucky. We also possibly, we as me, I put in an application for something, which I'm really excited about. It actually started off a little bit of anxiety for me, but I'm also very excited about it. And it would definitely make my life better. <laughs> it would bring some joy to my life, some companionship. So I'm hoping to hear ab back about that soon. I guess I'll do like an informal mini apartment tour because <laughs> we are not like furnished yet. Well, fully. But here is the front area here. You guys saw this already. Got my nice TV, <laughs> my one chair, 
<laughs> the plan is to get a couch in here, either put it against this wall here or put it against this wall here and move the TV to be like right here. So I will also have a couch in here, probably like a little love seat. It's pretty small. <laughs> and then here, my desk area, not very clean. <laughs> um this is my little like incense area and we have my bathroom which honestly is probably the room that i've spent the most time on <laughs> all i'm realizing i left it kind of a mess now um but i have a new shower head coming in that should be here tomorrow which i'm so excited for um but this is this is the bathroom love that rug i got it from amazon and then you come in here you see my unmade bed that heater is the only thing keeping me warm it's been freezing this is my bedroom i do have some art that i'm going to be getting framed to hang in here i may eventually change my bed from as well but this is about it and we're using a little lap desk as a nightstand so that's great um a little sun catcher and a little chime hanging up. We have my closet. Not much going on here. That's a whole box of clothes I need to sort through. And then we have my kitchen, which is very used right now. <laughs> I didn't get that. Could you try? Uh, need to do dishes, clearly. And take out the trash. <laughs> this is all like moving and box trash and stuff but we have my table here i'm gonna get a couple stools that will go like under but we have yeah my monstera i had to chop her up so this is her currently got a candle little t-rex on a piece of slate that i brought back from england got this cool incense dispenser some selenite and some crystals in that bowl as well as a monstera adansonii love her um we have fridge with a parking ticket that i have to pay <laughs> um these are all these magnets actually a friend got me like 10 years ago um way back when i think before i'd even gone or maybe after like my first trip to england um but the rest of these and then a friend another friend got me this crystal it's an amethyst um and then the rest of these are magnets i picked up on my trip um, and then we have a little string of pearls, these succulents, which are typically outside, um, but it's been too rainy. And we have my big pothos, air fryer, stuff charging. Then out here is honestly probably like the best part of the apartment. I have like a little patio, not small, but like there's some space out here. Usually the plants go right there, but a little patio here i think i'm gonna get some planters for the summer and grow some veggies back here um my neighbor has the lemon tree over there and i'm so jealous um but i also think i'm gonna get like a little bistro table out here maybe some like floor tiles just because when it does rain i get water that just like comes through here um i'm gonna get some string lights maybe a little outdoor like mini couch thing or something but yeah that's current apartment situation like i said we're still getting furnished i've only been here a week it's probably gonna take me a couple weeks if not a couple months to get everything i want um because i'm trying to be really intentional about it really slow most of the things i'm getting are from like goodwill um and like thrift stores and stuff so yeah it's gonna take a little time but i'm really happy with like what I've done so far. It's definitely starting to feel more like home. One day I was so sad that it made me ill. This boy said that he's sorry, but he doesn't feel like he should have, or at least that's how I thought he should. Since that day, I'm still wishing he would mm -hmm. One day 
I was so mad that it made me cry The boy I loved turned into someone else's guy So I turned my back and walked until I couldn't see How it feels when he's not with me So I cried my head off I've tried my tears under the sun I put my hands up in the air And I'm having fun One day I was so mad that it made me ill this boy said that he's sorry, but he doesn't feel Like he should have, or at least that's how I thought he should And since that day I'm still wishing 